it's me, your girl, Siri. I've been gone for a while, a long time, I will say. But today, I'm back and I'm gonna make a YouTube video for you guys. So, today's video is me reacting to my old outfits. So, basically, today I'm gonna dig in my archives and find all my iconic queen clothing moments and yeah just like react to them via fashion analyzer and yeah let's do it ah! and by the way i'm so sorry for all the sound effects but my dog is kind of having a rage attack right now Yeah, as you can hear. Um, okay, so this photo is from when I was about maybe 10 years old, 11, 12. And we were in London. And I remember I bought that dress from Topshop the same day as this photo was taken. So I think I actually like put it on in the dressing room. I used to call it the school uniform because I wanted to be so preppy and just like <laughs> I have a school uniform. Um, and it's honestly just like a horrific dress i think it's so terrible is it weird to say that this is annoying because i think this outfit is so annoying like so annoying and the shoes are honestly like horrendous i i hate those kind of shoes like honestly those shoes are the worst type of shoes like brown leather lace shoes no i can't even take it and my hair uh was Something we're not gonna talk about. Okay, so the next outfit is from the first day of school and I wanna say like fifth grade. This yellow cardigan was my goddess. Like, I love this yellow cardigan so much and I remember actually that we were traveling somewhere and I saw this at the airport and I was just like, I need this in my life. So I was so proud of this outfit with my Zara shorts and my Zara turtleneck, my yellow cardigan and my Zara jacket and my Zara backpack and my wine red converse. I don't think this outfit is horrible because I was like a little child, a little cute, but at the same time, it's horrible. Uh, so let's go to next one. I think this photo is taken at the same time as the previous one and my idol at this time was Cara Delevingne. I loved Cara Delevingne so much and my mom told me that Cara always wear beanies so I was gonna wear a beanie. I'm wearing some black sneakers with studs on them which I remember I loved so much. I wore these to death um, and the tights are some black and white striped tights which were super trendy at the time and no I don't want to talk about those. And then I'm wearing a gray sweatshirt. I love this sweatshirt because it had these like pattern on it. I thought the pattern looked like a Chanel bag, so I was like, this is my Chanel sweatshirt. The next one is me, probably six years old, in my Norwegian traditional bunad, which is like the national... What do you call it? National clothing outfit? Gown? National gown? National dress of Norway? I don't know. Like the national suit or what you call it. Uh, so this is me in my first bunad. And I remember my mom cut my bangs and I was just feeling my Hannah Montana fantasy. Okay, so this photo was taken at a carnival party at my school. We had this annual carnival party. Um, I was about 10 or 11 years old, I wanna say. And every year had its own theme. So this year's theme was magic, I think. So. For some reason, I wanted to dress up as a magic monkey. And honestly, it doesn't look like a monkey at all, but I can see the effort. I was really trying, so yeah. This is actually the year after on the same carnival. And this year, the theme was water and sea. I don't even know what this is called. Like, I feel like I know the word, but I don't know. What is this called? <gasps> Jellyfish! 
So I was obviously a jellyfish, as you can see. Um, really proud of it. Um, and I used an umbrella and some stringy things. And the dress actually looks like a jellyfish. Like, that's so horrible. So, for those that don't know, I was actually a blogger back in the days. I actually had a fashion blog when I was about 12 or 13, like about that time. So my blog was called fashioncoco.com. So this was a post on my blog and the title on the post was something like, my parents said this is too much leather, but I don't care. So yeah, I was definitely really like, fuck everyone. I'm doing my own thing. I love leather. Uh, so in this photo, I'm wearing a cropped, white t-shirt I think and my leather jacket from H&M bought it on sale and my Topshop leather shorts and then I was just having like a messy ponytail on the side um, and my cool phone case in black leather just like yeah can we just take a moment for like the angle like me holding my phone like yeah, I was really obsessed with leather, so I was wearing another pair of leather shorts, my dad's oversized white tee, like, I'm so vintage, but, like, it wasn't vintage at all. This is really unique, and, um, it's a look. So this photo is taken when I was about maybe 11, 12 years old. And I was obsessed with watching fashion shows and I loved models and I just really wanted to become a model. So this photo was taken right before our birthday and it was like a dress up party. So I was actually dressed up as the Louis Vuitton 2013 spring summer collection. I was obsessed with watching fashion shows. I love Louis, Versace, Chanel, the whole shebang. I wanna say this photo is taken in ninth grade but I'm afraid it's taken in 10th grade. But I want to say it's taken in ninth grade. Please say it's taken in ninth grade. This was another period of my life where I was just like, F everyone. So in this photo, I'm wearing a latex skirt, which is actually kind of cool. And I have it till this day. So I don't hate that. Um, and then I'm wearing a black turtleneck, which is also kind of cute. Um, honestly, this outfit is not that bad. I would kind of wear this today. My only issue with this is that I was wearing it in school. But I honestly don't hate the outfit. It's just like the occasion. And I remember some of the teachers actually... <gasps> oh my god, I have my Starbucks cup in the background. I actually got a few comments from teachers saying like, Siri, is this appropriate? And I was just like, yeah. Respect me. I myself. This next photo is horrendous. Like, why was I like this? Like, no. <gasps> I gotta sit down for this one. In this outfit, I'm wearing my Thrasher hoodie. And honestly, I still to this day kinda like the Thrasher hoodies. The hoodie is not the problem, but ugh, actually, it is a problem. Like, everything in this outfit is a problem. Honestly, everything in this photo is just wrong. Like, no. No, 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 no. Do you guys remember American Apparel? I loved American Apparel. So this top was basically just like a piece of fabric and it had like straps here and straps on the back. So my back was like totally bare. So someone could literally just like come and pull the strap and everything would just like burst out. But yeah, um, I'm wearing my leather shorts, my favorite furla bag, and I'm wearing Timberlands. Why am I wearing Timberlands? This photo is from when I was backpacking in Thailand. I think I was about 15 years old and I bought this top at a market. It's kind of ugly. Yeah, it's really ugly actually. I loved this outfit at that time. Like I loved this outfit. I wore it for the first day of school after summer break and yeah, I was just totally here for it. Um, but yeah, no, that's not it. Fun fact about me, I love bathrobes, it's my thing, I wear them all the time, they're so comfy, and yeah, you can see I started very young wearing my queen bathrobes, I love this purple one, after that I started wearing a brown one, I'm totally living for this outfit, my hair, the face, queen. That was all for this video, thank you so 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 much for...
watching. I hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and feel free to comment something below. I hope you are healthy and staying safe during this corona crisis, and please take care of yourself and your loved ones. And I will see you guys soon. I will start posting more YouTube videos, and I'm so thankful for all your kind messages, as I said earlier. And thank you so much for just sticking around, subscribing to my YouTube channel. I love you, and I will see you very, very soon. Subscribe to my TikTok channel. I mean my TikTok. <laughs>